Hello, welcome to Midday Prayer on Tuesday from St. Michael's Chapel in the Solihull Parish. Today, we use the liturgy from the Church of England's Common Worship Daily Prayer for our Midday Prayer. As we pause at this point in the day, let us keep a moment of stillness together as we remind ourselves and come consciously into the presence of God. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in you I trust. Words of praise from the Carmina Gedelica. I am giving you worship with all of my life. I am giving you obedience with all of my power. I am giving you praise with all my strength. I am giving you honour with all my speech. I am giving you love with all my heart. I am giving you affection with all my sense. I am giving you being with all my mind. I am giving you my soul, O Most High and Holy God. Praise to the Father, praise to the Son, Praised to the Spirit, the three in one. And now we hear our psalm. And today's words are taken from the first eight verses of Psalm 17. Hear my just cause, O Lord. Consider my complaint. Listen to my prayer, which comes not from lying lips. Let my vindication come forth from your presence. Let your eyes behold what is right. Weigh my heart, examine me by night. Refine me, and you will find no impurity in me. My mouth does not trespass for earthly rewards, I have heeded the words of your lips. My footsteps hold fast in the way of your commandments. My feet have not stumbled in your paths. I call upon you, O God, for you will answer me. Incline your ear to me and listen to my words. Show me your marvellous loving kindness. O Saviour of those who take refuge at your right hand, from those who rise up against them. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Our scripture reading is taken from the book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 35, beginning at the end of verse 2. They shall see the glory of the Lord, the majesty of our God. Strengthen the weak hands and make firm the feeble knees. Say to those who are of a fearful heart, be strong, do not fear. Here is your God. He will come with vengeance, with terrible recompense. He will come and save you. Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened and the ears of the deaf unstopped. Then the lame shall leap like a deer and the tongue of the speechless sing for joy. For waters shall break forth in the wilderness and streams in the desert. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me 
will have the light of life. We come now to our prayers and as we prepare to pray let us take a moment to call to mind those things which have been part of our day this far and those which we know of which will be part of the rest of the day to come remembering especially those who are in need and any situations where God's help is needed Let us pray to God the Father, who has reconciled all things to himself in Christ. For peace among the nations, that God may rid the world of violence and let peoples grow in justice and harmony. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those who serve in public office, that they may work for the common good. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For Christian people everywhere, that we may joyfully proclaim and live our faith in Christ Jesus. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those who suffer from hunger, loneliness or sickness, that the presence of Christ may bring them healing and wholeness. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. Today, as it's the Feast of St. Michael and All Angels, we hear the collect prayer for that day. Everlasting God, you have ordained and constituted the ministries of angels and mortals in a wonderful order. Grant that as your holy angels always serve you in heaven, so at your command, they may help and defend us on earth, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Together we pray the prayer that our Lord himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May Christ, our Redeemer, bring us healing and wholeness. Amen.